Target approved the basic school or educational curricula for KG and primary uh, early this year, uh, after the framework had been approved in September 2017. The subject area curricula has been duly launched. We are in the process of training master training that has been taking place. We've trained district trainers, and very soon we will start training for the teachers themselves. It is not only training them in the subject area that we are going to do, we have to train 152,000 teachers across the country who, are, who exist in the basic education space, and KG to P6, to be able to let them have the knowledge to train uh, our kids in the new curriculum. Uh, that training, like I said, has been ongoing, and we hope to complete with the training. But uh, with this training, we are also, for the first time, giving teachers the resource pack, such that it is not a four-day training that we are giving you that will let, let you be very conversant with the curricula, but the resource pack that will direct you on how to, how to write your uh, lesson notes, uh, how to do your work assessment sheets, uh, how, to, how to generally teach in the new uh, syllabus. That would happen in August. And in August, because basically almost all the schools are on vacation in August, and we are going to train the teachers with 900, over 900 different points in the country. Uh, the training will take about a week uh, so that we will get all the teachers well trained. After that, uh, we would also come up with a program where teachers can go for updates of the knowledge in the various colleges of education uh, throughout the year and subsequent years. We would also put out videos and resource materials on websites and general places where teachers can access. And every teacher who feels inadequate would get the support of the ministry to make sure that that teacher is well resourced to teach. The new curricula is coming on the background of the old one that existed for years, that various commissions of uh, educational commissions have wanted to change the last one, and I'm one then, I think, in 2002 that we have not been bold to confront the issue. The challenges have been known to Ghanaians for a very long time. Uh, it's not for me to repeat that we all know that the basic school is not producing uh, the, the quality material or the learning outcomes we so desire. And year in and year out, government after government, we lament about results, whether it is BEC or, or WASI. But it's about doing something different to expect a different outcome that makes this reform fundamental. Would we continue with the same old things to produce the same results where we want all one change? When Ghanaians have voted massively to send their children to, in basic education to private institutions, which didn't exist in my short time when I was doing even uh, basic education. When I was in school in primary six, you could count the number of private institutions offering basic education in the country amongst our fingertips. Now, nearly 30% of basic education in that space is being offered by private education. It is even said, I don't know the justification, it is said that teachers who teach in the public basic schools don't send their kids to the schools that they teach.